Healthcare is a growing and lucrative industry, and sadly, one that's not available to all those who need it, whether it be for financial or geographical reasons. It's a problem that's attracted the attention of the world's fourth largest telco, Telefonica. I'm here today visiting a hospital in Malaga, Spain, to see why Telefonica has taken an interest in e-health. E-health is very adjacent to our core business, our mobile fixed and IT developments that we do for hospitals. And we think that by adding uh, layers of services on top of that, we have a very good solid opportunity. I also think that the patient, uh, there's a trend on moving more and controlling their own uh, care and being more aware of what's happening to them, having more information. Um, and then, of course, that you know, people are growing older, there's a higher uh, percentage of chronic disease management. Um, and lastly, I would say there's a force uh, right now in, in governments and physicians to be more productive, more efficient, and times to reduce costs and, with the same money, try to um, attend uh, more patients. 7% of Western Europe's GDP is spent on health care. But as the aging population grows and life expectancy increases, that number could grow to as much as 15%. Telefonica claims it could reduce costs, maximize productivity of doctors, all whilst improving patient care through e-health. But it's not just about altruism. Telefonica hopes to earn 400 million euros in additional revenue by 2013. Telefonica have begun piloting a number of trials here in Spain and in the UK. Two of particular interest are Help at Hand and Home Physio. Help at Hand is a new mobile telecare service providing reassurance and support no matter where you are. It's being trialed in five devices ranging from smartphones to watches and is all managed via a user-friendly portal. In the event of an emergency such as falling down, the system alerts your predetermined contacts. Another service, Home Physio, enables the user to do physiotherapy remotely whilst being monitored by a specialist. The patient straps Nintendo Wii-like sensors with accelerometers and gyroscope onto their body to monitor their performance. So the home alarm system is unique because it brings all of the elements together. So it's all brought together by a portal. So it doesn't matter if you fall down, you go out of a safe zone, you need help by pressing an emergency button, um, or you... Um, don't move, so it's got a motion sensor. All of that together isn't provided by anybody else right now. The home physio solution is about um, a patient being able to do physiotherapy at home, but remotely configured uh, and remotely managed by their physiotherapist um, in a real-time environment, which again doesn't exist right now. That all sounds great, but what happens next? I think we're going to move on from the piloting approach where young doctors are, are willing to adopt new technology and willing to put that mainstream and uh, we think that will be expanded more into the other doctors seeing how this is efficient and it actually works and it's actually very beneficial for the end patient at the end of the day. I also think that uh, there's going to be a hype also in, in telecare and around um, services for handicapped or elderly people. I think there's a lot of projection on that side and there's uh, also I think new ways of, of working in the hospital environment. There's a lot of the new um, systems that will go into the cloud, um, moving infrastructure away from the physical hospital and uh, more adoption of nurses and, and midwives in the communities and uh, doctors using the use of technology, more acceptance of that and I think that will drive the industry to grow. The challenge is to get people to be more engaged and have greater ownership over their own health care and hopefully the next generation of e-health will be preventative. This is Leila Mackey in Malaga, Spain for Telecom TV.